Senor Stewart? Yes. Good evening, sir. Please. Thank you. Mrs. Cromwell shall be... Ready soon? Yes, not good English. Excuse, senor. should be alongside the Ehrenfels on schedule by 0100 hours. I don't have to tell you how crucial this operation is or how many Allied lives it might save. Our cover story once again, we are businessmen on holiday. We rented this old tub in Bombay, sailed down to Goa for the fun of it, and on a drunken dare boarded the Ehrenfels. Of course, authentic drunken businessmen seldom run about with machine guns. <laughs> Should any of you find yourselves in a tight spot, if it's the last thing you do, throw your guns over the side. If any of you have to swim for it, you know the location of Cartwright's Beach. Jack will be there waiting for you. Charlie, you remain aboard to nurse the engine. Sir. That's an order, Charlie. Yes, sir. Shit, sir. <laughs> Charlie, you really do have a way with words. John. You'll stay at the wheel. No arguments. Can I say shit as well, sir? If you like. All right, let's open up the whiskey. Uh, One big swig now, and no more until further orders. Cheers. 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 Gavin Stewart, Hadley's of Bombay Limited. Ah, oh, Mr. Stewart, how nice to see you. Darling, may I present Mr. Stewart? A pleasure, ma'am. And my daughter, Teresa. And Irina. And Mrs. Cromwell. Mrs. Cromwell and I already know each other. As a matter of fact, with your permission, sir, I am going to steal her away from you. Please do. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, sir. Show. Look absolutely beautiful. 
don't blame you for being angry. I wouldn't have waited for me either. I can't begin to apologize. Don't be silly. It's accepted. Where were you? Well, you won't believe me. It's really a sort of tragedy of errors. First of all, puncture in the middle of nowhere. Then I nearly ripped the sleeve of my jacket off trying to change the wheel. A mad dash to find a replacement jacket, which doesn't fit. So I see. And naturally, they're still not giving out your phone number. And finally, when I got to 31 Garma Street, mm. there was no one at home. Gavin, it's 21. Not 31? <laughs> there you are, I am an idiot. Agreed, but a rather nice one. I'd left by then anyway. I called your hotel. They said you'd gone out quite early. How did you get in here without an invitation? And I'm glad. Well, I uh, crossed the Major Domo's palm. Shocking. Now, to show you the stuff I'm really made of, I'd like to apologize properly. First, I'd like to kiss you, Mrs. Cromwell. I'd like that. seen nothing. Am I correct? Hmm? Start laughing. Hmm? Laugh. Problems? No, sir. Mr. Cartwright. Buried there, sir. Take my car and park it near the hotel, will you? Yes, sir. 
Are you all right, sir? Yes, fine, thanks. There we are. The first of Gavin's brilliant diversions. Never had a moment's doubt, oh, Bean. <laughs> well, I did. If we'd relied on this compass, it might have wound up in the Grand Canyon. What a lovely sight. Reminds me of Brighton when I was about mm, ten years old. You know, Dickie, I find it hard to believe that you were ever ten years old. Oh, chuckle, chuckle. Gentlemen. Well, Mr. Finley, Mr. Sloan, time to get ready. Right, sir. If any of you have any final questions, now would be a splendid time. Well, when do we get another drink, sir? Well, right now, as a matter of fact, I want each of you to take another big swallow. Just one. Next, rinse your mouth thoroughly with whiskey and spit it out. Then take what's left and pour it over your clothing. All of it, sir? All of it. I want every man here to smell like a distillery. All right, get on with it. Anybody got any soda? mean to do that. I swear it. This is the noblest sacrifice of all. <laughs> ah, fumes alone are getting me tiddly. You may save your second bottle for our celebration on the way up to Bombay. Alles klar. Sehr gut. Noch 17 Minuten. Das war dein Triumph. Ein Flugzeugträger. Auf unsere U-Boote. When we board, I want no firing, unless it's absolutely necessary. Should anything unpleasant happen, and we sustain dead or wounded, they are not to be left aboard the Ehrenfels, nor any equipment. Nothing which could identify us as British. When I blow this whistle three times, everybody off, immediately. You'll do. Take your stations. All weapons loaded. Safety catches on. Check our watches. When you set your minds, remember, give us 30 minutes. That's still not much time. You surprise me, Yogi. We'll have all the time in the world. Now, do get on with it. You're the boss, Lewis. My God, your breath is awful. as well. It won't help me see in the dark, will it?
the mine. Sandy, come with me. You two stay here, right?
Brad. I think I'm still standing. Oh. We found it, Bill. Get everyone organized to leave. Sandy, look after Yogi. Come on, let's go. Barker, come on, you. In here with me. The code books. Get them on board the Phoebe. Hurry. Right. My fault, Bill. Never mind that. Get ours to the Phoebe quick, and the Germans to the after deck with the others. Back on the Phoebe, everybody, back on the Phoebe. I mean, why don't they hurry up? Lewis, get them on the Phoebe, Bill. Williamson! What? Look after Dennis. Great foot goes for the others. Pull up on your lads, move it. Phil! Stand alone! I'll be watching you from the top deck. Make no mistake, I'll shoot the first man who moves. Where is Lovecroft? Second deck, wardrobe!
breath. begin to thank you and the light horse? I have a feeling they'll be thanking you. I know I am. Antworten nicht, Herr Kapitän. Es ist 2 Uhr. Schade. 
Nun, zumindest werden wir morgen einen ruhigen Tag erleben. Let's be glad they are 